Hello, my name is Suzanne and I work for Shore Rivers. We're an organization that helps take care of our local rivers. We are so excited to be working with you this year to study an endangered and mysterious species we have in the bay in our rivers. It's called the Atlantic sturgeon. But before I tell you any more about the work we're gonna do together, I want you to hear straight from a fisherman's mouth his experience with this fish. So one day, Jim was out on the Marshy Hope, which is a tributary of the Nanticoke River. He was fishing with his friend, Bill Harris. They like to go carp fishing on this river for years. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a fish jumps into his boat. Whoa! But this wasn't just any fish. This fish was five feet long. It weighed 45 to 50 pounds. There were some other really cool features of this fish. It had bony plates like spikes going down its back in five rows. And it had whiskers, almost like a catfish. Jim knew that this fish was called an Atlantic sturgeon. And he knew that they were endangered. So he put the fish back into the Marshy Hope River and he called Maryland Department of Natural Resources. He asked them if they had seen other sightings of this fish in that river. So this year, we're going to study this fish and understand why does the Atlantic sturgeon go into our rivers? What is it doing there? What kind of habitat do these fish need in our rivers? And how can we ensure this endangered species still comes to the Chesapeake Bay? So from Jim's story, I want you to try and draw a sturgeon based on his account. What details did he share with Maryland DNR? Remember, it was five feet long, 45 to 50 pounds, had rows of bony plates going down its back, and had whiskers like a catfish. What do you think a sturgeon looks like?